Hey Physique Freaks, how's it going? Scott Tuzan on MetabolicMasterpiece.com. This is a follow-up video to the one that I did on pre-workout supplements last week. Uh, since that time, I've been doing a lot of research trying to find out what the best pre-workout supplement is and what is the optimal dose of each of the ingredients, um, the main ingredients that you see in a lot of the pre-workout supplements out there. Now, I've been completely shocked to discover that most of these pre-workout supplements, the ingredients within these supplements are either A, useless, B, in a dose that's much lower than what the evidence shows to be effective, or C, they're not timing dependent. Now, as I mentioned in the last video, um, up until a couple months ago, all I've been taking pre-workout has been 200 milligrams of caffeine. Occasionally, I would include 16 milligrams of ephedrine, so combining those two together about 30 to 60 minutes pre-workout. Ephedrine is legal here in Canada still. It's like an, it's a stimulant and it's an oral nasal decongestant. I find that it really helps open up my airways and getting in, I guess, more oxygen to my brain tends to, I, I find that it helps me increase my focus during the workout, my clarity. Um, so I, I really like that combination of caffeine and ephedrine. But um, the reason I decided looking to start looking into um, pre-workout supplements was beta alanine. I've been hearing a lot of great things about beta alanine. Uh, it's great at improving, increasing muscle endurance and decreasing muscle fatigue, which allows you to do more reps during your sets, increasing your training volume with each workout. So what I, um, what I discovered is that the optimal dose of beta alanine is between 2000 and 5000 milligrams. Now, when it comes to um, most of the top pre-workout supplements out there, the typical dose that I'm seeing is 1500 or 1600 milligrams. So that falls short of the low end of the spectrum, 2000 milligrams uh, for beta alanine. The other thing that really surprised me with beta alanine is that it's not timing dependent, meaning that if you take it first thing in the morning and not training till later at night, the timing of the dose doesn't matter. You're still gonna experience the same um, muscle endurance and fatigue uh, effects as you would if you took it pre-workout. I think the thing with beta alanine is that people, that tingling sensation that you feel uh, on your skin, I find it crawling up my neck and a little bit on the arms. I think people associate that with, um, like when you feel that during your workout, it's like it's doing something in that moment. But uh, really, it, it's not. You can take it any time of day. It's not timing dependent. So why is it in a pre-workout supplement? when it's not doing anything immediately during that workout. Um, the next ingredient that you see in most of these pre-workout um, supplements is creatine, one of the most studied, uh, most effective supplements out there. Again, increasing muscle endurance, um, decreasing fatigue, increasing power output. We're finding a lot more health benefits to it, cognitive function, absolutely amazing supplement. And the optimal dose for creatine is usually around 5,000 milligrams, five grams. Um, and what you'll see in most of these pre-workout supplements is a dose that's much, much lower than that. So the thing is, we've got beta alanine and creatine that are two effective supplements. The other thing, creatine, not timing dependent. Doesn't matter when you take it. There was recent research that showed that it may be an extra benefit taking it post-workout, but um, it's not the most convincing evidence out there. So basically, you can take creatine any time of day, it's gonna have the same impact on your training. So creatine, beta alanine, great supplements, not timing dependent, really have no place in a pre-workout supplement other than convenience. Um, but the other thing is, I mean, if you have a dose that's much lower, like I see some of them, they only have a thousand milligrams of, um, of creatine. So what you're gonna to need to do is get more creatine, get more beta alanine in order to hit that effective dose based on the research at hand. The only supplement that I've come across in this kind of quest to find the best pre-workout supplement is Tier 1 by Citadel. Uh, they've got five grams of creatine, they've got um, beta alanine, 3.5 grams of beta alanine, so that's right in the middle, the 2,000 to 5,000 milligrams. Um, they've also got L-tyrosine in there, three grams of that. That's a supplement I haven't talked about yet, um, that's an interesting supplement. It improves, it's shown to improve cognitive function during stressful situations, such as exercise. Um, what I saw in that, in the research is that 
Kind of the typical dose that you're seeing out there is 500 to 2000 milligrams of L-tyrosine. But the research that shows the most promise for the anti-stress um, impact or effects of L-tyrosine, uh, most of that research said that you need 7,000 to 13,500 milligrams of L-tyrosine. That's all, it's based on your weight. So 7,000 would be around a guy my size, 150 pounds. Uh, if you're closer to 200 pounds, you'd get upwards of that 13,500 milligrams of L-tyrosine. So that's much, much higher than uh, most of the supplements, pre-workout supplements I've seen in the market. Again, tier one from Citadel, three grams, which is I think the highest, I've, highest dose I've seen out there of L-tyrosine. Um, again, I'm not associated whatsoever with Citadel Nutrition. I've just been doing this research um, on my quest to find the best pre-workout supplement. Uh, I really like what I'm seeing from those guys there. It's, it's like the cleanest pre-workout supplement out there. You've got creatine, beta alanine, L-tyrosine, and caffeine. They have 200 milligrams of caffeine in there. Um, so I really like it. There's no useless additives in there and it's in the right dose. I don't need to take any extra creatine in addition to it. I don't need to take any extra beta alanine. So the main thing is the only ingredient in tier one that is really effective timing wise pre-workout is caffeine. And then L-tyrosine is another one of those supplements, um, that is timing dependent for the dose. And I believe it's like 30 to 60 minutes pre-workout that you'd want to take L-tyrosine. So basically caffeine, L-tyrosine are the ingredients that you're seeing in many of these pre-workout supplements that are really effective pre-workout. Caffeine's dirt cheap. You can get like 100 tablets, 200 milligrams for under five bucks in most areas. And uh, I mean, that's gonna last you over three months if you're only taking it on training days. So, I mean, all these pre-workout supplements are like jacking up the price, making it sound all great and effective. Um, but the main working ingredient in it is caffeine and maybe some L-tyrosine if they have an effective dose in there. Of course, beta alanine and, and creatine are in just about every one of these pre-workout supplements, but it's not in a dose that's proven to be effective. And you need to take more of that supplement in order to get up to that effective dose. The benefit of having caffeine, I mean, of having creatine and beta alanine in a pre-workout supplement is convenience. So instead of, since it's not timing dependent, you're gonna take it any time of day. So why not just take your three, your, your core main supplements all at once pre-workout. Um, it's all blended together. You got your flavors and all that stuff. So I'd say convenience is the main thing as long as it's in the optimal dose, such as, Tier one, again, not associated with them. I haven't even tried their supplement, but I am planning on ordering it um, within the next month after I run out of what I have right now. The only other um, ingredient that I've seen in only a select few pre-workout supplements is citrulline malate that shows some promise. I'm starting to hear a lot more about it right now. Um, I'm not entirely convinced about it yet. It's Again, it's got the same kind of impact as beta alanine and creatine that it's gonna improve your muscle endurance, decrease your fatigue, and allow you to perform more volume during your workouts. Um, the only supplement I've seen that really has the optimal dose of 6,000 to 8,000 milligrams is pre-gym. Um, again, I'm not associated with them, and um, I've never tried the supplement, but just looking at the labels, um, that's what I have come across. I haven't really seen a lot of supplements, pre-workout supplements that have citrulline malate in them, and, um, Really, it's kind of not 100% not convinced on the research at hand, but looking forward to following it. Hopefully more research is done on that. So, I mean, again, pre-workout supplements, I mean, it's a big, big industry and I look at it, bottom line, caffeine, man. It's what I've been doing all along has been the most effective supplement. I would like to start taking some uh, L-tyrosine to see if that does impact my cognitive function. Really owe a great deal of props to the team over at Examine. Um, their um, supplement reference guide has been phenomenal. I, that's what I was going to, to, I mean, they've got all the research all in one. They're doing all the grunt work for me. So I had one, a one-stop shop to really find out all the, the evidence that I needed to, to gather to form this opinion and to really save myself a lot of money, uh, time, effort, and really focus on the supplement and the doses that are going to benefit me. So their reference guide, their supplement stat guide, those two, um, those two resources have been absolutely priceless to me. I've got a link down below in the description here. 
Uh, I've just started um, reading through, I've read the past two issues of their research digest. Just a phenomenal, phenomenal um, resource. Uh, I can't speak highly enough. I am affiliated with them, uh, but I, I feel incredibly confident and proud to recommend these guys, the team there. They just do a hell of a job. They've got your best interests at heart. Um, so when you're thinking about consuming a supplement, I would definitely be consulting with that team at Examine, looking through their reference guide um, to see what the optimal doses are, the most effective doses for you and your goals. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, again, caffeine, ephedrine, beta alanine, creatine, L-tyrosine. Those are going to be the top supplements I'm going to be including, top ingredients I'm going to be including in my pre-workout. Again, caffeine, I mean, sorry, creatine and beta alanine aren't timing dependent, but it's a convenience thing more than anything for me. Citrulline malate, I'll probably experiment with it in the near future. I want to first give beta alanine and the creatine combo enough time to see how my body responds to it. Then I'll introduce citrulline malate and see if that provides any additional benefit and if it's even worth the, the cost there because it's probably the most expensive ingredient on this, this list here. Hope you enjoyed this footage. We'd love to hear more about your pre-workout supplements. Um, really got a shout out. Oh, shoot. Mr grumpy or something like that. I've got to look. I'll, I'll link down to his description below. I, I owe you a great deal. I really love the, the when I looked at the research here, you, you provided um, your pre-workout, homemade pre-workout ingredients. It was like spot on with what all the research said. So hell of a job. I really appreciate you. I appreciate everyone reaching out and sharing their feedback, their insights, their experiences with me. Have yourself an amazing day. <laughs>